it's been synonymous with the Vermont Chamber of Commerce, but now Betsy Bishop plans to leave her post next summer. And she joins us now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Darren. So 15 years as president at the chamber, why is now the time to leave? After 30 years in the State House and 15 years at the helm of the Vermont Chamber, I've really accomplished a lot, and I feel like we're in a really great place for the, to find that next leader to take the chamber into the future. Um, I've had a lot of successes, certainly some challenges over the last decade or so, um, but this is a super time to do that. Let's talk about some of those challenges because Vermont businesses, you know, as they suffered catastrophic flooding in the last year, uh, we had the pandemic as well and we're seeing a spike in retail theft particularly in Burlington where we've also seen a lot of violent crime and a lot of businesses are saying hey we're not safe we're losing customers what is the health of business in Vermont and what's needed you know Vermont businesses are incredibly resilient and we've seen that through the you know obstacles that you've just mentioned with the flooding and the pandemic um, I've been at the helm through the 08 09 recession uh, through the changing of the delivery of health care through a lot of different challenges but also what I've been able to see is how resilient businesses are to stand up and keep going um, and you're right we're at a difficult time right now and what businesses need is the support to be able to continue when I think about the business grants that the legislature and the governor passed this past year, those types of um, efforts have been super helpful. Going forward, we need to think about our resiliency and making sure that business success is at the top of minds for our policy leaders as well. How has business in Vermont changed since you became the president at the chamber 15 years ago? Once upon a time, there was an endless flow of new workers <laughs> that would come to Vermont, would come into our businesses. You'd put an ad out and you'd have choice as an employer. That is no longer the case, and that's the biggest change that we've seen. Over the last 10, 15, 20 years, we've really seen our demographic challenges bring all sorts of challenges. So we, we are an um, aging demographic. Uh, we have a declining population, a decreasing population, and we're seeing that more and more have impact about how many workers anybody can, can hire. So whether that's in a manufacturing facility or at a restaurant, they're having to figure that out. The Vermont Chamber brought that issue to the forefront 10 years ago. We put forth a uh, workforce gap and highlighted that, and it has been the talk ever since, and there have been a lot of uh, efforts at trying to fix that. But what we need most is more people, more workers in Vermont. So how does the state accomplish that? Betsy Bishop offers her advice to lawmakers and the Scott administration tomorrow night at